Hey, welcome back, friends. You can see I've got the bumper off of the F-250, and we're about to replace it with a Legend Series from Ranch Hand. Got this bad boy right here from Ranch Hand. Appreciate that. This little short install video, this is a very easy project. There's not much to this. You may need a little help picking this bumper up. That's about it. I'm not going to go through the process of, uh, of removing the bumper. I'll show you how we do that. It's literally six bolts. That's it. And, uh, and you're done. But uh, And then you got to unplug your wiring harness and unplug your trailer lights. You're done there. But today we're just going to go through the install of the Legend Series Ranch Hand Back Bumper. Hope you stick around. All right, guys, as I mentioned, I'm not gonna do talk a whole lot about how to remove your bumper. Basically, you get behind underneath, remove those two nuts there, those two nuts over there, and these two support nuts are bolts here. And uh, then you gotta take your trailer bracket out, your seven pin, and then you got to also remove your, uh, your, your license plate light harness. So I've already removed the harness from the actual bumper. We're going to reuse that for the, the ranch hand bumper. But that's it. It's very simple, straightforward, nothing to it. I'm about to trip over this bumper. Here is the bumper we are installing. And again, it's a super easy install. Uh, you can see the brackets on the bumper here. You can see we've got two openings here and two openings here. That's going to match up right here if you can see that lighting is a little harsh but these two openings and these two openings so now i have to take these off uh get these off and get the other side off and we'll be i mean it's really a short short install to put the camera down so you're probably gonna have a little road grime here and uh, make sure to give that a good cleaning because there's gonna be you want a nice uh, a nice area surface right here between your bumper and uh, this part of the frame so make sure you just you know dust it off a little bit don't be late all right guys I do not suggest trying this on your own you could probably finagle a way to do it but I'd hate to damage the bumper um, what we got going on here, I've just got these storage boxes propping it up, but uh, you can, again, I'm just reiterating, these four holes will match up with these four holes here. And yeah, I'm just going to get them started and tighten them down, reinstall my 7-pin, reinstall my, uh, my lighting my, for my license plate, and then that's it. Okay, friends, just reinstalled using the old hardware here. Um, this is a little bit of a booger to get started because you got to come up from the inside over here of the hitch. So, yeah, that one's a little bit of a booger to get started. Otherwise, fairly simple and straightforward. Uh, now, I am installing, I don't have backup sensors, so I'm installing these plugs right here. And you can see I got two more to go. And they're just simple. You just stick them in and make sure they seal around. And that's it. Next, I will install my seven pin back right here and then i'll have my uh my light my tail light tail light tail <laughs> holy cow my license plate light right here so part of the install for the light is to file off the paint here that's going to act as a ground for your uh license plate light so that's what i've done here pretty simple okay friends here we go Got her all installed. Man, it really makes it look completely different from this angle. Which kind of blacks it out for sure. Um, yeah, I like a solid as a rock, of course. I wish I had this on here when I got rear-ended a few months ago. That would have uh, that would have saved me some headache. But uh, yeah, I'm cheating a little bit, so I haven't haven't wired this up. I got to go get some more electrical connectors. I'm not gonna, just going to use electrical tape. I'm going to use the the crimp connectors there. Uh, Ranch Hand asked you to do that, so. 
Uh, I, when you buy a bo big box of them, you think you'll never go through them, but I'll be darned if I didn't. So, uh, so yeah, I've still got to wire that up. But you've got you're just going to have a two wire. Um, your harness is going to have your original bumper, I should say, has a light on each side, and I'm just going to cut the plug on this side and use those two wires to wire that up. So that'll be simple. Uh, your seven pin just plugs right in. That's it. I'm gonna get my license plate installed and then we're all finished guys. So that was a super easy install. Just make sure you have someone to help you, at least one person to help you. And I think it looks really, really good, especially with my diamond plate boxes. So yeah, I think we're, we're styling and profiling a little bit. See you guys.